I'll start with a story. When I was a senior in high school, I had such a difficult time in physics. How many of you have had a hard time in physics yourself? Sige, makisama kayo sa akin. Hirap na hirap ako because you have to, you know, you have to memorize formulas. And every time I go to my physics class, nakakaroon ako ng butterflies in my stomach. And I'd always excuse myself, Ma'am, CR po, CR po. Kasi, you know, the teacher would draw a car on the blackboard, and then I'm supposed to compute force and distance. Ngik, sabi ko, ang hirap naman yan. Right? So, I said to myself, there must be a better way. And as destiny would have it, in 1999, Lego Education offered Lego Robotics to our company, Falta Multimedia. And I had the opportunity to humanize schools. And also, I was given the opportunity to have inquiry-based experiments for schools. I told myself, hindi na kayo mag-memorize ng formulas. Kayo po ay magagawa ng experiments and through robotics, then you will learn physics and it will be a fun way of learning physics. So after that, when my story came back, you know, my, this is my story, my personal story, I started teaching teachers, training teachers. Sabi ko, ma'am, tuturuan ko kayo ng robotics. At that time, I was clueless with robotics myself. And ang sagot sa akin, ah, ano bang robot? Ito, Voltes 5. Yan. Mga kajandra ko dito, you know Voltes 5. But to make it more updated, ito, Transformers, right? So all they knew was the movie. The movie's lang. And I told myself, dako, medyo mahirap yata tong gagawin ko. So I kept training teachers and making them feel comfortable with robotics. And what is a robot? So my explanation was, this is the textbook definition of a robot. But for me, a robot is something that can, a machine that can make the lives of humans better, simple, and safer. Oh, yun lang naman ginagawa ng robot eh, is to help us humans. And through the years, I've been asked by parents, ano naman magiging career path ng anak ko pag mag-robotic siya? Sabi ko, ma'am, marami po dyan. Hindi lang po sa manufacturing. It's not just in manufacturing where we have robots. We use it in medicine, in nanotechnology. Doctors use nanotechnology in the heart, a heart, the brain, where the human hands cannot reach. That's nanotechnology. We use it for space exploration. The rover Curiosity used a robot arm to get specimens from Mars, and that was using the robotics. In education, we teach mechatronics, engineering, STEM. Kung ilan dito magsistem, mga engineers, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics for schools because we want to have a more progressive Philippines. And for household, we have robot chefs, we have robot vacuum cleaners that can clean your houses. Pag may dust, linis ng linis yung robot. Sabi ko nako sa Pilipinas, mahirap yan kasi very dusty tayo. But just the same, we have a robot vacuum cleaner. We have a robot bomb squad. For those tasks that are very, very, you know, dangerous, like retrieving a bomb, you can have a robot retrieve the bombs. So this is all beyond the manufacturing field that robotics is used. We also can have software developers. You, need, you see, girls are good software programmers and programmers. And I've met this robot. His name is Baxter. When I had a robotics training in Tufts University in Boston, USA. And it can teach you how to program. It can also be used for software and games application development. So we need all these industries. Kailangan ng bansa natin ng thinkers, critical thinkers, who would help create products and not be consumers of products. This is what I do for the public. Ito ang lugar na perfect para maging training ground nyo. Yung activities dito sa iCreate on renewable energy ay nagtuturo sa ating mga guests dito na pwedeng magamit ang water, wind, and solar power to power their creations. Yung robotics po is ideal for age 9 above. Yung programming po sa WeDo ay napakasimple. Kahit nga po 4 years old, pwede pong mag-programming na. <laughs> So I believe in inclusive education. I believe that children starting four years old can do robotics.
hindi lang po dun sa mga matatalino. This is a team from elementary, and they made a robot that can segregate trash and have a reward system. Just elementary school students, nine-year-olds to 12-year-olds. We also have technical competitions where the robots can go through an obstacle course, and with autonomous robots, they are supposed to do tasks, and there's cord, and they have a time limit. This is during the Philippine Robotics Olympiad. And this is the team we bring every year, annually. We have two trips to the United States, one in Denmark, one in Australia, and one in Costa Rica for the Philippine robotics team. And we have two girls with us. Can I call them? And for me to recognize, you have Eunice Tejada and Andrea Ramos. Palakpakan po natin. We have two girls here who are part of the Philippine robotics team. And we will be competing for the Philippines because we know that the Philippines can be the technology hub of the world. We believe in that, and you should believe in that too. And we have been winning a lot of medals for the Philippines, a gold medal, silver, and bronze medals for the Philippines. Hindi lang po natin nakukuha pa yung Miss Universe, pero kukuha rin natin yan. So we would like to be the must, you know, for technology in the world. We have also started what we call the Philippine Robotics Academy. We provide curriculum, textbooks, digital building guides, and mentoring for schools so that it can be integrated in their science, technology, engineering, and mathematics programs. We also have what we call the makerspace. For those in Miriam here in the audience, do we have any? I Wala? Puro atinista? <laughs> well, in Miriam, we made what we call the Makerspace, which is an e-laboratory for mechatronics, and we teach girls as early as kindergarten to college to be, you know, our future scientists and engineers. This is in Miriam College. So these are the girls, and we make them comfortable in studying STEM. In addition, for those in Ateneo, we also have the robotics club in your school, in grade school. You see, we want to start them young, as early as nine years old. And this is what we're doing, is to encourage them as early as nine. At the age of 15, alam ni nila ang kukuni nilang course, if it's STEM or in other fields. And these are the boys in Ateneo de Manila Grade School. Now, what are our achievements? We have with us here on the screen one of the 10 outstanding students of the Philippines. Her name is Narisa Nicolas. She won the 10 outstanding students of the Philippines in 2015. And she's one of our products, one of the team leaders that we had in the Philippine robotics team. And these are the kinds of children, the kinds of students we want, the kinds of youth that we want for us to have a better and more progressive country. An addition is that we are also teaching the hearing impaired. Alam nyo, sa akin, that is my dream. Sa akin, lahat ng bata, pantay-pantay. You're all normal. It's just that some are not, you know, they're physically challenged, but I can teach you robotics. So we have partnered with some schools, one of which is the Miriam College Southeast Asia Institute of the Deaf. And here we teach deaf teachers who, in fact, teach their students who are deaf themselves how to use robotics. Hearing impaired sila but we do sign language in teaching robotics. In addition, we also have, you know, financially challenged children. Hindi ko tinitignan kung anong school sila nanggaling. Public school, private school, traditional school, Catholic school, international school, you know, Philippine science, Chinese school, and all kinds of schools. Yung bata sa gitna, that's, that's the child in the middle, his name is Juan Miguel. He was with us in Russia when we competed in the World Robot Olympiad. He was 12 years old. It's his first plane ride. Yun kasama niya yung coach. Sabi ko, Juan Miguel, ikaw ay galing sa isang area at you will inspire. Dito po siya galing, in the slums of Quezon City. And in fact, I told him, I will make a record of your achievements throughout the year because you are the future. We will prove to the world, to the Philippines, that regardless of where you came from, you will be a scientist one day. Dito po siya galing. It's called Bagong Pag-asa Elementary School in Quezon City. And I said, it's such an appropriate school name because I want to give children of any social class, you know, the hope opportunity and hope 
that you can be a scientist and engineer soon when you graduate. So, to recap, I'd like to say that First, children as early as four years old can learn robotics. Number two, girls can excel in robotics just like the boys. And I will continue my quest to encourage girls and women to be future engineers, scientists, inventors for our more progressive Philippines. And number three, robotics is not just for the geniuses. It's also for those who are physically challenged. And number four, robotics is not just for the rich. I, regardless of your social class, you can learn robotics. And finally, as I would say, robotics may seem complicated, but it's for everyone. I wish my physics teacher could see me now, speaking to all of you. And I'd like to introduce my robot friend, who has a gift for me. His name is Dexter. Here we are, and that's the robot dog. And I would like to say, techies rock. God bless the Philippines, and thank you very much. <laughs>